Welcome back to another installment of the Electric Odyssey here in Sri Lanka. I have been exploring this beautiful island and nation with the help of my very own electric tuk-tuk. And today we're going to be exploring Ella. That's where we're going. Ella is a scenic town here in the mountains, popular with tourists thanks to its gorgeous nature, historical sites and its cooler climate. So strap in for another slice of adventure today. Let's begin in the town of Nuwaria Elia, an interesting town not too far away from Ella, and let's see what today has in store. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another day and another adventure here in Sri Lanka. So yesterday I arrived in Nuwaria Elia and spent the evening in this Blue Moon Hotel where they let me charge last night and where I watched Newcastle smash Sheffield 8-0. So how are you the tune? <laughs> so today's vlog is the journey to Ella and then the exploration of Ella itself and along the way you've got two options you can get the bus or the train or if you've got your own tuk-tuk of course. Most people take the train because it's got that beautiful Instagram shot of the person hanging out the door as you drive through the tea plantations. But four years ago when I came here with the budgeteers, we found out that the reality of the situation is it's a busy train full of local people going to and fro the mountain ranges and uh, you can't get a seat, you have to sit on the floor and it's pretty miserable. <laughs> You're better off, to be honest, getting the scenes and enjoying the ride in, in your own in your own tuk-tuk. I do need to pop into town here to uh, top up my SIM card because I used all my data last night watching the match. And New Aria Elia is this gorgeous little town in the misty mountains. We're leaving quite late, it's already 10 o'clock, but I was up till two o'clock in the morning watching the football. Okay, that was super simple. I just went into the company that I bought the SIM card from. They have a shop here in the town right next to the roundabout. And I just asked for a top up. I think I paid like five US dollars. Um, and it comes with unlimited usage of certain social media apps, including YouTube. It doesn't take any of your data, which is pretty good. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of New Warrior Elia and let's get going. Get in the back seat. So according to Google Maps, which I have here in front of me, we have two hours and 60 kilometers. And we have a 100% charge. So we're looking good on battery life. And the good news is New Warrior Elia is the highest city in all of Sri Lanka. So we'll be going downhill to Ella today, which is around about 1000 meters. Where I went wrong in the previous video, when I was coming up to New Warrior Elia, was I really underestimated the climbing up the mountains, how much that drains your battery in an e-tuk-tuk. It was ridiculous. I was getting about one kilometer per two percent battery and i just sucked it dry and then i had to um recharge at the police box outside of town but 100 percent going downhill we should be we should be absolutely fine we'll just enjoy the scenes together so get in the back seat subscribe if you're new and let's enjoy some more of sri lanka together
Okay, okay, we're about halfway there. And I had to change route slightly because the route Google Maps told me went off into the countryside and it was a proper dodgy road. So I've extended our kilometers by about 10 kilometers and staying on the main road. But you know what's so nice is when you get stuck behind a bus or a tuk-tuk, you see the smoke that billows out of these exhausts, right? And knowing that this is electric and it's not contributing to pumping out a bunch of smoke is great. Obviously it needs electricity to recharge and Sri Lanka has a very unsustainable energy ecosystem. They import a bunch of oil and God knows coal and all this kind of thing. There's very little renewable energy here. So it's still not 100% clean. Obviously the electricity doesn't just come from the wind or the solar yet. But just getting stuck behind all these noisy and dirty vehicles, it just feels nice to know that we're doing this in an electric tuk-tuk. The first ever electric tuk-tuk. And I'm really hoping that tuk-tuk rental work together with more locals who own these tuk-tuks to convert more to these electric engines because they're clean, they're quiet, and they're much, much cheaper to recharge. So yeah, anyway, just random thought there. Got 28 kilometers to go, ladies and gentlemen. And we are 78% battery as we overtake a noisy Piaggio. And it wasn't long until we made it safely into Ella with plenty of battery remaining. And I pulled up to explore the very first of many popular sites here in Ella, starting with the Nine Arch Bridge on the outskirts of town. So welcome to the Nine Arches Bridge. I arrived into Ella and on my way into town, on my way into the hotel, I thought I would stop here. So I've just parked the tuk-tuk and it's a little five minute hike down to the bridge itself. This is one of the most photographed, one of the most famous spots, not just in Ella, but in Sri Lanka. And you can see why it's a very photogenic bridge built during the colonial times when the British we're building the railways here. One of the remnants of the British Empire is the train structure and the train system that runs across the entire country. And this bridge is one of those famous Harry Potter style old British railway bridges and made of beautiful stone. And it crosses from two mountains and it's about 10 minutes outside of Ella. And I'm just looking now, they've actually built accommodations around here now. There's They've got glamping spots. I can see those glamping bubbles. And they still have tea plantations down at one side. And of course the tunnel where the train comes through. And you can check online when the trains come. And uh, I've actually just missed one, but that's okay. <laughs> the good thing about that is the train, you know, that brings a lot of people I've seen recently on um, pictures and things. There can be 500, 600 people all lining up against this bridge, nearly getting hit by the train. Just to get, just to get that photo or that video of the train crossing. And uh, since I was here last, there's also huge beehives growing underneath each of the arches. So they've started implementing a no-fly zone for drones because the drones aggravate the wasps or the bees, I'm not quite sure. And then they attack everybody. <laughs> so, um,
I mean, there wasn't supposed to be a train coming, but I can hear one coming. Can you hear that? Gotta get off this bloody bridge. Yeah, they said there was going to be one half past the hour and now it's 20 past. I'm talking about last hour. The next one wasn't supposed to be till the afternoon. So it must have been late. But oh, it's beautiful, isn't it guys? You can see the massive beehives under each arch. That's so cool. So yeah, it's a nice place to come. You can get a coconut. You can take pictures, obviously. And uh, just enjoy you know, a touristy, beautiful little spot. It's not too bad, actually, for, for the time that the train came. Either I misread it or the information online is not correct. I did a quick Google when I was arriving and I was like, oh, I just missed it. So anyway, that's the Nine Arches Bridge. I'm gonna hang around here, enjoy it a little bit more, have a little coconut, and then head into Ella, dump my bags at my hotel, and head into town and get some lunch. So yeah, it was nice to revisit the bridge and remember just how beautiful it is. The aged stonework contrasted against the luscious green forests and the surrounding tea plantations. It's certainly worth a look if you're in the Ella area. When I arrived at my hotel, I popped the tuk-tuk on charge with the help of the friendly owners, and then I headed into Ella to see if I could find some lunch. And I found a spot on the high street and I ordered a spicy kotu, a very delicious local dish here. And then I bumped into some old friends. What's up guys? Do you remember us? You might. We were way back at the beginning of Patty's trip around Thailand when he was doing the 77 provinces. We met up with him in Krabi. And now, Mr. Big Time's chauffeuring us around tonight. <laughs> What a happy accident it was we, too. We just walked into a place in Sri Lanka and guess who's sitting there? The man himself, the legend. Eating a kotu, kotu roti. And a ginger beer. And now I've got two passengers. See that? <laughs> Only 500 know. rupees. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what you're going to run into when you're traveling. Exactly. Yeah. This thing that he's driving is so nice. It's so quiet compared to smooth. all the other Tok Toks around. Yeah, it's so smooth. It doesn't smell, it doesn't hurt my head. It's very nice in here. <laughs> what I love about revisiting places is how things change. So we did do this hike four years ago and I've come back because I want to show you, it's lovely. It's half an hour, really easy. And it's a nice little viewpoint of Ella and the surrounding mountains. But at the beginning of the trail, they've built this monstrosity, this huge bamboo beach club with pool and swim up bar and DJ, pizza oven, happy hours and everything. It's incredible, it's huge. And they're blasting music, as you can hear. So that's at the beginning of the trail now. So what we've decided to do is go do the hike now. We might check out that Bamboo Beach Club for a couple of uh, sunset beers and a rare occurrence to meet uh, friends, you know, acquaintances, fellow YouTubers and people that I've traveled with in Southern Thailand two years ago now. It's so random that we just bumped into each other. Okie dokie, about 10 minutes 
I'm just walking up a bloody staircase and then you get to the top. It's quite a simple hike. It's more like a walk. But I'll wait till you see the views. Let me go a little bit higher. Beautiful. And you can continue a little bit more to the very edge, which I think we should do. There we go. <laughs> we did it. We did it. It was short, but it was beautiful up here. Look at this. We've really earned that beer. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, it's just 10, 10 minutes of going up a staircase. No wonder I couldn't remember the first part right. of the trail because it's not, there's not really much to the see. The climb wasn't remarkable, just the views. <laughs> <laughs> Should we carry on down to the little two tree point? Yeah, we'll earn a second beer. Let's do it. That'll be um, <laughs> a good spot to fly the drone yeah. and give everybody a proper perspective. Lovely. Frank and Alyssa are just making their way down. There's three little peaks and this one here is the last one, but it's quite sketchy. So just be careful because the sand thing, the, the trail is very slippery, very sandy. And it was nice. I don't think I came here last time. So that was nice. And in the distance here, this is the big mountain of Ella. I think it's called Ella's Rock. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we did hike up there four years ago and we camped up there. We had a bonfire and it was really lovely. Really cool. And I, I, I carried a big case of beer up there, which is mad. Like, <laughs> this was like a four hour hike and I was carrying beers. I won't be doing that again. You know, in my head when I'm filming these vlogs, I kind of have a structure in mind. Okay, I'll start here, I'll do this, so that'll be the middle and then the end will be here. And when you bump into friends, you suddenly just throw everything out the window and just catch up with your friends and then think about how, how can I turn this into an interesting video for you guys to know what and feel like you can understand what Ella's like, what Sri Lanka's like, what driving an e-tuk-tuk's like. Um, so I'll keep trying my best. Um, I'll try to stay focused as much as possible. But we, we've got so many memories from hiking and traveling and we were traveling in Thailand during the pandemic, at the height of the pandemic. We were at Krabi, we were at Koh Phi when there was nobody there. And it was a real surreal experience. So we have a lot to talk about and talk about how travel's changed now that everything's gone back to normal. Because um, it doesn't really feel like normal anymore. But this is a whole topic for another video. <laughs> Let's just continue to explore Ella together. Cheers, big ears. To conquering a little sandy hill with a beautiful view. We've come back down to the bamboo shop now. A cheeky pint. So, that my friends was Ella. Short and sweet. And in the next episode, I'll be heading to Arungam Bay on the far east coast for surfing, safari and more next level adventures please go subscribe to frank and Alyssa. go show them some love and i'll see you very soon